Give me one. Give me two. And you see. You know. Purple versus Navy, and it starts off with a bullet pass to the sidelines for a completion. Later on in the drive, Navy is trying to make something happen, but they just come up short. This puts the ball in Purple's hands, and quarterback MVP Corin Cutler throws a Hail Mary pass for a touchdown and the lead. Later on in the game, Cutler pulled off some deja vu, hooking up with Rashawn Harris for another touchdown. Then, after getting the ball back, Purple looked for another deep ball, but this time it was Champion Smith saying, not in my house. This gave Navy a chance to get back into the game, and they do it in spectacular style with this incredible catch from Nico Creamer. Later on, they get the ball back, and Michael Gillipsy throws a deep ball to Trent Saffin for a big touchdown. Gillipsy then threw a successful two-point conversion to Alex Dunn. The next time Blue gets the ball, it's Travis Frazier with a great run after the catch for the score. Purple then got the ball, and David Gavilroy sealed the deal, throwing the final touchdown of the game. On to White vs. Red and RB MVP Wendell Smallwood is found for a long touchdown. Later on, Dekhill Shorts made a nice catch after another deep throw. Red would respond though with a short completion for the touchdown putting them right back in the game. But White came right back on the offensive side as Nick Hazer catch made a great play to catch the ball and keep the drive alive. Not only did he keep the drive alive, but he completed the drive by catching this touchdown. White would get the ball back again, but Ryan Renfro made a nice block to stop the score from getting worse. However, once Red got the ball back, Wendell Smallwood made a great interception to turn it into a pick six. After the pick six, Rupert Ronda puts the nail in the coffin as White beats Red. Maroon versus Gray and we kick it off with a big interception from Khalid Weems. However, after taking the ball away, one of Gray's first throws is an interception for a pick six. The next drive, Maroon went down the field and tried to score, but came up just short on this pass to the one-yard line. Gray responded with a drive down the field after a completion on the sideline from Yet Fekadu. Maroon tried to respond, but after a toss into the end zone, the ball gets knocked into the air and Gray takes it back. On the way down the field, Cole Prophet found Chris Hall Jr. to give Gray some breathing room. Cameron Stapleton, the tight end MVP, tried to help Maroon come back by making a nice catch in the red zone. But after the Stapleton catch, Doi Donnell winner Dubois Ross takes the ball away in the end zone to give Gray the win. Gold versus Black and we start off with Don Quayle Williams making a great leap in the back of the end zone to score a touchdown. Gold would be successful on the extra point as Ricky Emerson caught a short pitch. Black tried to respond but the Gold squad made an interception and they dominated from there. Next up for gold was the white squad, but they were unable to convert on their first drive down the field. After that, Dean Wilson found the ball in the end zone after it deflects off a member of the gold squad. On the next white squad possession, it's Dean Wilson again catching a Hail Mary pass to widen White's lead. Gold did respond though. On White's next drive, Justice Pollitt intercepts the ball and takes it back for a pick six. But on Gold's drive, following the pick six, DB MVP Hakeem Harriet copies Pollitt and does a pick six of his own. Later in the game, Harriet strikes again, blocking a completion and giving the white squad the victory. On to Navy versus Black, and we open up with a short touchdown thanks to Trent Saflin completing the play. Following that catch, Alex Kribda found Andre Bernhard to make a touchdown and take the lead. In their next possession, Navy built their lead more as Nico Creamer somehow finds the ball for the touchdown. Black would not quit though. Check out this 40 yard bomb who lands right in Isaiah Curitan's hands to give Black the touchdown. Black was able to succeed in the conversion to get back into the game, then they took over when Isaiah Curitan once again finds the ball in the end zone. Next stop is Gray vs Red and we start with this perfect Chris Kane pass to put Gray in great positioning. After that, Chris Kane finished the drive with a solid touchdown to put Gray on the board. Red tried to respond with a Hail Mary pass into the end zone, but Khalid Weems intercepts the ball and takes it all the way back. Caleb Stepanyak would not let Red go easily as he fakes one way and then finds a man in the back of the end zone. Chris Kane tried to answer back and Red did their best to stop him, but eventually Kane found Du Bois Ross to seal the deal for Gray. Maroon vs Purple and to start off we have Vaughn White finding Akil Ingram for a touchdown. But Corin Cutler answered right back for a short touchdown and a bullet pass to complete the conversion. On Purple's next drive, Corin Cutler this time found a wide open Matt Davis who leaps into the end zone for the score. 
Maroon's next drive, we have the play of the day as Terrence Carter pulls off this incredible interception to give the ball back to Purple. After that, David Gavaroy throws to Jesse Brent for another Purple touchdown. Maroon then tried to respond, but Purple once again intercepts and this time takes it back all the way for a pick six. The interception fest continued as this time Maroon picks off a potential touchdown to keep their hopes alive. But unfortunately, those hopes did not last long as Terrence Parker picks the ball off to seal the deal for Purple. Purple then moved on to play gold in the consolation game and started off the game having to defend Donquell Williams, who makes a great leap and catch to open everything up. But that was all gold could do, and then it was Purple's turn. They delivered with Matt Davis catching a Daniel Leonardo touchdown pass. Leonardo then followed that up with a successful conversion in the end zone. Gold tried to respond with this huge Hail Mary pass to Donquell Williams, but Williams lands just slightly out of bounds giving the ball back to Purple. Gold battled to stop Purple from scoring again as Gerard Cronkite breaks up a completion. This is when the ball went into the hands of Corin Cutler and the QB MVP showed his stuff as he found Andrew Martin for a touchdown. After Cutler threw a touchdown, it was David Gavaroy's turn. He finds Andre Martin for a score with a very nice throw. Gold once again attempted to get back into the game, but as they drove down the field, their first attempt at a touchdown was intercepted, giving it back to Purple and Corin Cutler, who sealed Gold's fate with a touchdown to Andrew Martin. Now to the championship game, we have Gray versus White, and we started off with Chris Kane finding Yet Fekadu for a touchdown. White tried to respond on offense, but couldn't as Gray intercepts the ball and takes it back. But if you cannot respond on offense, do it on defense. Connor Rosensweet gets the ball right back and goes in for a pick six. White then drove down the field and scored, but on the conversion, Chris Carpenter intercepted the ball and prevented any other White scoring on that drive. After that, the ball goes back into the hands of Chris Kane, who this time finds Christopher Hall Jr. in the end zone, and to complete the conversion, Kane throws the ball to Jamie Deason to put White in trouble. Following the touchdown, does once again, Chris Carpenter comes up with a huge interception, but Gray would not be able to score and the ball would go back into White hands. But once White got the ball, Gray once again showed off its defense with another interception. This time the pick was taken all the way back to the house to give Gray a nice cushion. White did its best to get back into the game with a Dre Lewis bomb for a score, but it was too little too late as Gray walked away with the title.